Abby and Ian's love story has been unfolding throughout nearly their entire lives. At first, their love was innocent. It was holiday meals and family vacations where Ian would tease Abby alongside his sisters. It is so rare that we get to know and love someone as truly as Abby and Ian do. Ian, I've pictured this day since I was a little girl. I've wondered where the big day would take place, who would be by my side, and who would be standing across from me. And I can say with my whole heart, I'm so lucky that it's you. Although very unofficial, I always think of where we started all those years ago at Birch Street as nothing more than roommates looking to get out of our parents' houses. From watching you buy your first house while we made it into the most perfect spot that was all of our own, to going back to apartment living while you let me live out my beige girl dream. <laughs> I am so thankful for each of the places we have been and the memories that each of those places hold. Well, it took us a long time to get here. The wait has been well worth it. It was a long time. It was a long time. Uh, the past several years together have given us so much and you've been there for me through it all. I promise to always play Papa Shot with you, although I'll never best you. I'll always be your bagel cutter, although you have gotten better at it since I made that note. I vow to keep pushing you even when you might not want me to. I vow to be forgiving even if you throw away my espresso chip scone. As your husband, I promise to always love you and support you no matter what life throws at us. I love you. <laughs> All right, cool. You keep me grounded, give me perspective, and remind me that the amount of me that I'm able to give on any given day to you, Tito, and our responsibilities is always enough. You remind me that the dishes can wait till the morning. It's okay, it's okay if the house isn't spotless and we have people over, and that the dryer has a freshen up button for a reason. <laughs> So to my middle school crush, my best friend in the world, and my soon-to-be husband and life partner, there isn't another person on this earth that I would want to go through life with, and I vow to always be there for you, no matter what life throws our way. But above all else, I vow to love you forever and can't wait to continue building life with you. I love you. This is a very unique wedding for me because not only am I the groom's sister, I have the pleasure and honor of being the bride's best friend. I can't look at you, so don't look at me. For those that don't know, my mom started watching Abby when after school in kindergarten, and our family was quite the culture shock for Abby, I would say. In walked this quiet, meek, sweet little girl into, if you've met my father, a very rowdy, rambunctious household full of children. By the power vested in me by the state of Maine, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You guys can go ahead and kiss each other.
No, I couldn't find the words to say the feeling of.